Good morning. Morning, morning. Both good? Both good. 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 One of the verses I wanted to share with us today is from um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse, well, <coughs> chapter 10, well, chapter 3, verse 10 to 11. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder and someone else is building on it. But each one of each one should build with care. For no one can lay any foundation other than the, the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. This verse is an awesome reminder to to all of us, like to many churches, you know, just for the real reason why we, we come to church. And um, that's to put Jesus at the center of everything that we do. A, a lot of us tend to lose track. They um, tend to focus more on the traditions of the church and what's in the church and what's not. But, um, you know, if we, if, if we set our mindsets all unto Him, you know, the church is ne- nothing will go wrong. Everything, everything will go right. So if we put Him first, if we, if we confess with our mouths and believe with our hearts, you know, Jesus Christ is Lord, and um, this, this is such a great and awesome, powerful verse for us here today. Just you know, building a foundation within the church. And um, you know, this, church, this this verse also helps us to understand um, why 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 we come to church. You know, just putting him putting him first, lifting him high, and praising him and worshiping, and um, putting him in his place, which is um, King of Kings, Amen. and he is the Lord of Lords. Like to start us off with the prayer. Let us pray. Dear Father, I just want to thank you that your Holy Spirit is present with us today. Father, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for the many blessings you have brought upon each and every one of us. I pray for the guidance and um, guidance and your healing power over each and every one of us. Lord, I thank you for all the churches that have attended us, uh, that's with us here today. I thank you for the churches, for guiding them from New Zealand, Lord. I thank you so much just for protecting them and um, guiding them here just for this camp to even take place. Dear Father, I want to thank you for the many, many opportunities that we have, Lord, that we may never um, take take them for granted. Dear Father, I want to thank you for for your love, your grace that you poured upon us. Lord, I want to thank you for so many more things. I thank you for the fresh air that we breathe, dear Father. I thank you for waking us in the mornings uh, just to face another day that we go through. Um, Father, I want to thank you that we are here today. I pray that um, you fill the atmosphere with your Holy uh, Holy Spirit, Father, as we are about to praise and worship you and give back the glory. Dear Father, I pray for revelation and I pray for um, breakthrough in this place today, Father. I want to thank you for so much, so much more. I pray for more um, opportunities, dear Father, for each and every one of us, all the youths that are here today, Father, all the churches that are here today. I want to thank you, Father. I pray that you keep opening the doors that no man will ever be able to close for us. And that uh, you just set us on that path, dear Father, we may never stray from it. And I pray these things in your mighty name, Jesus, Father. Amen. Amen. Amen.
See you.